right we have a damaged nexus connector on this one so first and foremost it doesn't turn on because there's no nexus connector on it so we're going to try and turn it on with the disk drive or we would but someone has decided that it's funny to not reassemble it fully so we can't so we can't verify anything at the minute so if you're watching this back as a video i'm live streaming this on twitch right now twitch.tv forward slash the code 2015 links in the video description and this has been sent in by a customer for a connector replacement so i remember the inquiry on this one and the issue is the nexus connector which is basically the connector which connects the main motherboard or the safe bridge board to that board there so this is the power button board so the reason this isn't turning on is because the connector has been damaged it's just one of these little connectors here and by the way i'll sell these little connectors at consolefix.shop they are beautiful connectors absolutely wonderful connectors look at this check it out how beautiful are those connectors they are gorgeous gorgeous connectors and you can buy them on consolefix.shop you can also buy the boards anyway let's get this connector replaced also if you're watching back this video and you need this repair get in touch consolefix.shop again click on the mail in repair section and then i'll tell you what you need to do i charge 50 pound for nexus connector replacements plus the return shipping bit of transparency i charge 50 pound i'll tell you up front so if you need it doing get in touch i am happy to do it for a fee of course as long as you give me all your money yeah so i can see what's happened here the um someone's obviously tried to disconnect this and it's yeeted it off the board it's fairly normal i see it all the time uh that connector is knackered as well that shouldn't come that far out let me see if I can get a close up of that because that should not come that far out. Ooh. And whether that's going to affect that, I don't know. But that connector should not come that far out. Or rather, that clasp shouldn't come that far out. So this might need to what i'll have to do is just try the one if it doesn't work or rather if the front usb board doesn't work do the other one as well so the question is what did this get taken apart for was it just taken apart for a service or was it taken apart for another issue Too much pressure on the connector yet i'll see it all the time with the nexus connectors it's really common um you know it's not a big deal when it comes to the nexus connectors um you know accidents happen i suppose uh yes i think this has just been serviced because that's fairly clean so yeah i agree at least i'm shit at cameras i'm shit at youtube just you might as well just unsubscribe <laughs> right so this doesn't need to be tore down all the way so we don't need to mess with the apu board just the top board the safe bridge board right Ratenlade. v2 board not that it makes a difference i just know based on this connector so if this connector's got the solid plastic there it's a v2 and if it's got no solid plastic like these ones then it's v1 right we don't need the ipu board for now right let's move all that out of the way there we go cool right so i've got the board hanging over the edge of the table and as you'll see i'll tell you what actually let's just weigh this board down and use the main board for the well the heat sink for the main board weigh the corner down so it's got the uh the main the heat sink sitting on top of the corner of this board 
just keeps it secure for me. So I've got it hovering over the edge of the table. Damn it, that's not in focus for me. It is now. And yeah, as you can see, this connector is a little bit hand boozled. So I'm gonna heat up from underneath. I'll just remove that. So my hot air is at 440 degrees Celsius. 40% airflow. pins missing well damaged it's kind of uh, to be expected uh, we've got no damage pads which is good 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 no trace repair to do no trace repair to do do I said doo doo. I'm so immature. There we go. One nicely soldered Nexus connective area thing. Grab a new connector, courtesy of consolefix.shop. Let's drop it on there. Right, hot air set the same, 440, 40% airflow. And heat it up for the same weight. So when you have an issue, do you complain to yourself from an employee to HR? Technically, no, because I'm not an employee. I'm not an employee. I am a sole trader, which means I'm just self-employed. I don't have to. I don't have to deal with payroll or anything like that because I'm not classed as an employee. I don't pay myself a wage. I don't. Don't have to uh, deal with any of that. I'm a sole trader, not um, not a limited company. If I was if I was registered as a limited company, then I would have to pay myself. Uh, I would legally have to pay myself a wage and a pension. There you go. Oh, I'm not sure on Joy-Cons, to be honest. Unfortunately, I don't generally work on them. I'm working on one for a friend tomorrow, but I'm only working on that because she's sending me a PS5 at the same time. I'll do the odd one if someone's sending in a different console along with it. Or like if someone sends a Nintendo Switch at the same time as they're sending the Joy-Cons, and yeah, I'll do it, but other than that, it's not worth it. Right, well, that looks absolutely freaking beautiful because that's what we do here at Console Fix. We fix, and we do it right. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. So 
There we go. Beautiful. And so are the pins. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Right. Damn cables keep getting stuck. I'm going to build the, um, when I build the new workbenches, I'm going to build the uh, power cables into the desk. Oh, I didn't tell you guys, did I? I bought, um, I bought a 28 foot uh, static caravan to turn into a workshop. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yes, this is be this is being turned into a workshop. Yes, I know it's been gutted, and no, I didn't pay one thousand six hundred and fifty pound for it. I paid eight hundred pound for it. Yes, it's being gutted, but there's loads of room there. So this will be the work area. That'll be where I do all my videos. Um, and no, it's not staying there. It's obviously coming here. Oh, stupid OBS. God damn it. Uh, yeah, so this will be where I do my work. Um, and then you've got a bathroom just here. Um, just off to the side here, which I'll actually put a toilet in there and plumb it all in and stuff. Uh, then this room will be purely for storage. So one room for storage, one room for work, and then you've got a bathroom. This will this will this will have like a little kitchen area. Um, so I'll have like a sink and a kettle and shit in there. But yeah, eight hundred pound I've paid for it. Right, that's enough for testing. So let's just do exactly that. Let's give it a test. Hopefully everything works. It turns on. Got the stickers there from the uh, connectors stuck on there. So it turns on. Eject button works. Red Dead Redemption. Decent game. Let's test it with the uh, HDMI tester before I plug it in. Yep, display works. There we go. Working. Cool. Then I'll get a full test tomorrow. Other than that, everything seems to be working. Let's just test this sync button, make sure that works. Yes, it does. Okay, so as long as that works, um, I don't know where my USB Type A tester is. Where is it? Uh, I know where my Type C is, but I don't know where my Type A is. So I guess, I guess I will just plug in a USB. Yep, picked up a USB. That's all I need to see. Cool. It'll get a full test tomorrow, that, but that's working anyway. Yep, another Xbox fix. So yeah, nice simple job. Um, I would advise the customer on that connector. It doesn't need doing now, but it is going to need doing at some point. It's definitely damaged, um, but it is what it is. It's working for now, so I can't really justify replacing it. Um, and plus, I don't want to be doing jobs that the customer hasn't asked me to do. Um, because obviously, even if it was just parts only, I've still got to add costs on for doing it. So, yeah, another console fixed. Buy console fix. Like I said, this has been live streamed on Twitch. So if you're watching back of the video and you need this repair, console fix our shop, links in the description. Don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, all of that, all of that good stuff. And uh, yeah. That's going to be it. Thank you. See you all in the next one. Peace.